Hi friends, uh, welcome to our new session. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, depth first search in artificial intelligence. Uh, in the last video, uh, we have discussed about the breadth first search, right? So this uh, depth first search, it is one of the uh, uninformed uh, search technique on artificial intelligence. So the main idea behind this uh, depth first search is that we can traverse from a node to its deepest level that is uh, from one neighbor node to another neighbor node and etc rather than uh, exploring the siblings okay and the main data structure that is used to implement this uh, dfs still dfs search strategy is what last in first out that is lifo okay so the difference uh, that is the, the main uh, difference between this dfs and bfs is that uh, in DFS, sorry, in BFS, uh, we are just exploring the siblings that is from N1, then N2, then N3, like that. But in DFS, we are exploring a node to its deepest level that is from one, one neighbor node to another, and from one neighbor node to another, likewise, that is from the deepest level that is from N1, then to N2, then to N4, then to N N8, likewise okay and uh, comparing this uh, dfs and uh, bfs uh, this uh, dfs ha it has many disadvantages over this bfs okay so we'll discuss that and uh, both the versions that is uh, we have two versions that is tree based and graph based okay both the versions uh, provides us non optimal solution Okay, both the version provides us non-optimal solution that is optimality no no uh, will not get an optimal solution then the, the algorithm it is the uh, it is not complete that is non-completeness okay and comparing the time complexity and space complexity that is uh, the branching factor say branching factor b and the depth level that is depth level denoted by m okay and the space complexity it is denoted it is represented as big uh, of bm that is the space complexity is linear in dfs okay then uh, we will discuss how we how can we traverse uh, from one node uh, from the initial node to the uh, goal node by using dfs okay so this is the uh, this is the initial node and uh, n1 is the initial node and n7 is the goal node okay we have to reach the goal so from n1 we'll move to or we'll move to n2 okay from n1 we will move to n2 that is one and from n2 we will move to uh, n4 then from n4 we will move to uh, n8 okay and after uh, after that this level is over right will uh, from uh, we will we had start from the initial node that is n1 then to n2 then to n4 then to n8 then next we will visit uh, n9 right we will visit n9 then after that we will visit n5 okay then after visiting n5 we will explore n uh, that is n10 okay then after n10 we will uh, visit n14 okay then after n14 n15 right okay from n15 we will move to n11 Okay, from N11, we will move to N16. And from N16, we will move to N3. Okay. N3. That is 11. And from N3, we will explore N6. Then from N6 to, uh, uh, we will visit N12. Then N12, from N12, we will visit uh, explore that is n n7 okay finally we have reached the goal node right that is n7 so 
in this way the dfs works that is first we will um, uh, start from the initial node n1 and uh, we will uh, uh, expand uh, uh, n2 then n4 then n8 after that uh, one level is over and from n uh, n8 uh, no more nodes are there to visit so from n8 will just move to n9 then to n5 then again n10 then n14 then n15 then n11 n16 to n16 to n3 n3 to n6 n6 to n12 n12 to n7 likewise that is we'll uh, we'll try to explore all the uh, nodes at the deepest level that is from one neighbor node to another neighbor node okay rather than backtracking this depth first search strategy it doesn't require so much memory uh, space as compared to the breadth first search okay that is uh, the space complexity of dfs uh, is linear that is the uh, the search algorithm dfs it is time limited rather than space limited fine and the considering the branching factor b b can be infinitely deeper right so a situation may arise if it if the algorithm it will follow a path if it has infinite number of nodes right so in this case the goal is not always guaranteed if it even it exists okay so this dfs it doesn't provide a best uh, solution to our, to our problem so okay best solution to our problem it doesn't provide uh, uh, the best solution so that is about the uh, depth first search strategy it is one of the uninformed search strategy and comparing this uh, dfs and bfs bfs is better okay so it uh, uh, the main properties of this dfs uh, no, no, that is the algorithm is non complete will not will not get the optimal solution and the spice, space sorry time complexity is denoted by big of b raised to m and space complexity is linear that is it is represented by big of uh, bm okay b is the branching factor and m is the depth okay that is about the depth first for, uh, depth first search in the next video we will discuss about the bidirectional search which is again it is one of the uninformed search technique okay thank you